Hey guys, Alex Ryan here. Welcome back. Let me share a really quick strategy with you. You see this thing behind me right here? This is what you call one of those cranes, right? These things are worth a ton of money. And let me tell you a quick story. This is actually coming from my customs uh, broker. Um, he's not one of our clients, right? If he's one of our clients, he would have been smarter. But um, he tried, one of my clients actually tried to import one of these things into Australia. Now, it's not illegal, well, it's not cocaine, right? It's not really illegal, right? It doesn't look like it can harm anyone, but it's what we call a protected item. It's protected industry. And Australia is really strange for their quarantines and their customs, but my, my, well, the story is this guy tried to import this thing and uh, class it as agricultural equipment, so like sprayers, right? Now, customs brokers, they're not idiots. And this is actually a sad, quite a sad story. So this guy spent a fortune, I think it's like something like half a million dollars. He imported the crane. He was gonna use it, I think, in the port of Melbourne. And he came through customs, and the customs office, officers are not idiots. They said, guy, you know, what is this? And the guy said, well, it's agricultural equipment, so it can get in. He goes, no, that's a crane, because that looks exactly like that flat one over there, right? So it's obviously a crane, and you gotta pay the duty on that. And the duty was something crazy. All right, it was like three or four times the price. Uh, and he couldn't pay it or refused to pay it. So he said, well, if that's the case, well, we have to dump it. And they took it off to the intercontinent, or well, the shelf, the, uh, they took it out of Sydney. And uh, I think it was Melbourne actually, they took it out of, uh, out of Melbourne and where it's sort of underwater, where sort of the cliff drops off, they just threw it over and they dumped it. And that's what usually they do to a lot of prohibitive items. Now, like I said, if you look at it, it doesn't look illegal, right? but it's protected industry. And this is why you need a good customs broker. Uh, we've got a good customs broker on our team who looks after our clients, but if you're looking to import from China, make sure you have a good customs broker on your side because they need to know this stuff. They need to make sure that you're being protected, that the product you're importing is actually going to get through, otherwise you end up wasting a lot of money. So he lost half a million bucks. He lost his life savings. Now, like I said, this wasn't one of our clients because our clients are not idiots, <laughs> but, you know, keep that in mind. Get a good customs broker, right? If you're unsure about it, um, I actually walk you through a few ways to, to sort of get started with importing on my website. I cover a few things like this. I don't go to a lot of detail, but uh, visit if you haven't yet visited my website, check it out. The link's below. And um, you know, I've got a free video program there as well. But make sure you are not importing prohibitive items like this. Have an awesome day, guys. Talk to you real soon.